Hello and welcome back. So, the post service was by today because it is time for a little bit more art supplies and both are kind of repurchases. So, let's start with the paper. This is the paper I'm using the most. And um, I was running out of cold press. I thought I had ordered a, a bigger pad, but apparently I didn't. But it's no matter because I am happy with this. This is a 9 by 12 inch pad, 300 GSM, cold press, just regular white. Um, yes, I know there's lots of people who use arches and I've only tried one sheet of art arches and it was okay, but I got a couple of more samples of arches, but, but I doubt that it is so much better that I want to pay the extra money for, for the arches. This is actually really, really good. I have used this the past five years or so, and I, I've used up a few pads. So I'm going to continue using Saunders Waterford from St. Cuthbert's Mill. Um, so yeah, a pad of 20 sheets and it's a block so it's glued all the way around. I'd say the, the if I have to say something negative about it, that, that black glue is a little, maybe a little much. The other one is a repurchase of Lucas Studio Gouache or Tempera. Oh, that's, this outer box is a little bit beaten up and it has been opened. That's really not something I'm happy with. We're updating our tubes. We're sorry this set may contain a combination of the old and new designs but the paints inside are still is still the same. Okay, I don't care. Um, so that's the old type of tube here and all the others are, are the new tubes. Well, that's fine. So, um, Put a little bit of light on here. I got, I bought a set of uh, a Lucas. Oh, what? Four or five years ago, Lucas squash. And I tried it just straight out of the tube. But I was like, yeah, it's okay. And then I did the dumb thing. I put it into a uh, a pallet and let it dry. And I, a while after it had dried, I did a uh, review of of it, and it was not a glowing review because they don't work well when they have been in a uh, in a pallet and dried out. These are best used right out of the tube, and it ended up that actually that I. Um, I, I threw away what was in the palette because each time I tried to use it, it just got harder and harder to, to re-wet. And at the end, even though I soaked them very well, it was just a, a weird jello-like substance that couldn't come apart. And what I think happened was that every time I, I used it and put more water on, I think what I did was I washed out some more of the binder and at the end it was just like a, a pigment rock that was was left in my palette. And somebody, I haven't looked, sorry, I don't, don't remember your name, but somebody a while back said, you know, it's, it's a, a bit of an unfair review you did because you should have done it with wet paint. And the person is absolutely right about that. So, um... I was planning on, on doing a fresh review of these and I still got my my Lucas paints somewhere here. Uh, you can see how well used they are. Um, and, um, so I, I found them, but and there was paint in all of them. The thing was, the black one, I had not paid attention to keeping the, the thread of it 
uh, clean so the cap was just stuck real hard on on the tube uh, no matter what I did I could not get that cap off um, and at the end the the tube actually broke from the, the abuse and to save what was in there, I put it on my palette. So the only black I got from of Lucas is now sitting here on my palette, and it's dry, and and it's still working. But I didn't want to to use that set for a review <laughs> because of that. And they don't cost a lot. It is 13 euros for 12 tubes, so it's a little more than a euro per tube. And I thought, well. I'll just buy a new set and use that for my review. So I got a, a review coming up of, of these. <coughs> and um, I think maybe I should see because I, I got a feeling that they changed maybe the colors from the set I had. So let's see. Take white or... or opaque white primary yellow no now it's cadmium yellow light and a yellow orange and there was no orange in in the previous set so yeah they have changed it an English red there was a burnt sienna in, in the old one so they changed that with a English red instead um, a Cadmium red dark hue and primary magenta is still in there. Violet bluish primary blue cyan not in there anymore. They have a brilliant blue green and ultramarine is in both. Permanent green yet dark that's a mid green in there now light ochre a yellow ochre and ivory black so that's actually quite good that I bought a new set because now I also can actually show you the set as it looks today it also looks like the tubes got got somewhat bigger 12 milliliter in this tube and 20 in these so it was it was good I'm, I'm happy that I, I updated my my set so I will have a review coming up with those and, um, I got a couple of oh, other things I want to share with you guys that I've been been buying but it's I have haven't put it together in a in a haul as such been wanting to try some things and I'm getting better at just buying little single things instead of buying whole sets so I got some Derwent metallics and I bought a silver mist a silver ice blue and bronze I started out just buying the bronze and I like that one so I bought the three more they're available open stock in our local store and um, I don't think I'll buy the whole set, but I, I'm happy with the ones I got. And then I wanted to try the Emod pens from Uni. And I bought a yellow, a magenta, and a blue, and a black. And I quite like those as well, so I guess I should make a little, little video about that. And, um, yeah. I can't think of anything else right now other than yeah I've been buying a little bit of acrylics paints and it's the Amsterdam that I'm seems to get along with the best so so I guess that's my preferred brand by now but yeah that that's how I shop uh, for uh, for art supplies at the moment it is just a little bit here and there because I got plenty so thank you all for watching please like subscribe and come back bye